Hi everyone! In this video, you'll learn how to pronounce the I in time diphthong. The I in time is a diphthong. Diphthongs are made of two sounds, so that means each diphthong has a starting position and an ending position. You should feel your articulators move as you say the sound. When a vowel is part of a diphthong, sometimes it doesn't sound as pure as it does when it is said by itself. The I diphthong is made up of these two vowels. The first sound, A, ah, is not used in the standard American accent as a pure vowel. And the final sound is I, like in bit. But listen to how the I sounds when it is in the diphthong. I, I. It doesn't sound like the pure I vowel. The jaw is a little more closed and the tongue is a little higher in the final sound of I than when the I vowel is said by itself. You don't need to focus any of your time on why the I vowel sounds different in a diphthong. Just know that as long as your mouth position is correct as you glide through the diphthong, then you'll be making the correct sound. Watch my mouth position as I say the word time. At the beginning of the vowel, the jaw is dropped low. The tongue is also low, and the tongue tip touches the back of the bottom front teeth. Then as I progress to the second sound of the diphthong, the jaw closes and the tongue arches up closer to the roof of the mouth. The tongue tip stays behind the bottom front teeth. When I is in a stressed syllable, the pitch of the voice glides up and then down. I, time. But in an unstressed syllable, the I vowel is pronounced at a lower pitch with a flatter shape, and it is quicker. I, I. It is common to simplify or reduce the pronunciation of diphthongs when they are in an unstressed syllable. Native speakers simplify the pronunciation so that unstressed syllables can be said faster than stressed syllables. Here is a close-up of what I looks like in an unstressed syllable, like in the word necktie. The stressed I is in the top pictures, and the unstressed I is in the bottom pictures. Notice the difference in jaw opening between the stressed and unstressed positions. When I is in an unstressed syllable, the jaw does not open as much compared to the stressed syllable. The jaw is also opened less at the end of the diphthong in the unstressed syllable. Stressed I, I, time, unstressed I, I, necktie. Here are some practice words and sentences. Try, I, try. I'll try to do it. Gigantic, I, gigantic. That elephant is gigantic. Vitamin, I, vitamin. I take vitamins every day. Outside. I. Outside. My cat loves to go outside. Triathlon. I. Triathlon. My dream is to complete a triathlon. Alibi. I. Alibi. She has a strong alibi. Thanks so much for watching, and let me know how I can help you with pronunciation of the American English diphthong vowels.